Yes, good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is well and thank you once again for tuning in. Um, we've got a few things to discuss. We're going to be talking about James Madison. We're going to be talking about Marcus Edwards. So if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, hit that like button, press the thumbs up right now. The thumbs up button down there, press that. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Let's get into it. So a few sources have come out within the last day or so. Um, and said that we are looking at the former Spurs man scored um, against us in the Champions League. We are going to be talking about none other than Marcus Edwards. Now, um, a few sources have come out and said that we could be looking at him and um, we're interested in him. For me, I would take Marcus Edwards. But this is not the signing we should be making. We need creativity and we need an entire new defence, bar Romero and Longley. We need a right wing back. We need a new left wing back. We need a new left side centre back. We need a new left. We need a new central centre back. We need a new goalkeeper. And we need creativity. So why are we looking at Marcus Edwards? I don't know. Can somebody tell me? Um, January now. He's under two months away. We've got a World Cup, you know, in the next couple of weeks. The transfer window is approaching. Who would be your number one transfer target? For me, I've been banging the drum about this guy for ages, for over a year now. Um, one of the top creative players in the Premier League. As you can tell by the title, it is James Madison. What are we waiting for? Go in on January or even agree to fee now. There's nothing stopping us from going and getting this guy. He is going to be, if we wait until January, if we wait until the summer, sorry, right? It's going to be too late. It's going to be too late. Everyone's going to be after this guy. He's got 10 goal contributions. 10 goal contributions in 12 or 13 games. Absolutely ridiculous. You'll see stats on the screen there. 12 appearances. Six goals, four assists. Let's compare that to our best goal scorer midfielder. Let's compare that to, um, should we say Hoiberg? Let's compare that to Hoiberg. Um, oh, if I could spell it, it'd be a good, good start. So you spell it, Pierre. There we go, Pierre Emeril Hoiberg. He's got double the goals and double the assists of Hoiberg. And that's our best goal scorer midfielder. What are we waiting for? Going in January and sign this guy. It's, it, it, I, I don't know what else to say. Let's look at the last three seasons he's had. 78 appearances, 26 goals, 17 assists. So it's a very good return. Leicester at the moment are struggling. Well, they, they're on, the, a bit of the, on a bit of a rise now. Um... They're on a bit of a rise, but we got we should be going and signing this player. James Madison, for me, transforms the creativity on this team. Then you bring in a left-sided centre-back, a central centre-back, and a, and a wing-back in January. For us right now, it is make or break this window because we, we could. I know we're still in the top four, but Newcastle are going to improve. Manchester United are going to improve. Arsenal are going for a league at the moment alongside Man City. Chelsea will go and buy a few players. Liverpool will go and sign a few players. We have to go, and, and right now is when we should be thinking about who we're going to sign in January. Right now is when we should be going and making contact with Crystal Palace and saying, what do you want for Crystal Palace? And no matter, no matter what they ask for, you go and pay it. Because he will bring in he will bring in 10, 15 goals a season, 8 or 9 assists. Man United are three points behind us with a game in hand. Immediately we've got a better goal difference than us. But... You know, Liverpool, okay, Liverpool are a, a fair few points behind us. They've still got a game in hand, though. You know, Chelsea, let's get the Premier League table up. Arsenal, Man City, Newcastle, then us. Man United are closely behind us with a game in hand. Brighton have a game in hand as well. Chelsea have a game in hand and Liverpool. So, when the, the top four is not, you know, there's one of six clubs, seven clubs that can get in top four. Arsenal, City, Tottenham, Chelsea... Liverpool, now throw Newcastle into the mix, who are high-flying. They're going to go and strengthen. Marcus Edwards is a talented player, and I would take him at Tottenham as another option. But he's, he shouldn't be he shouldn't be 
We shouldn't be looking at players like Marcus Edwards. All disrespect. I know he, he turned us, he turned up in the Champions League against us, but we need real, real quality. Players like James Madison, players like Skriniar, players like Bastoni, players like Anderson or Guayhi at Crystal Palace. Go and bring either one of those in. Go and get me. I take three, four players out of Crystal Palace right now. I take Elise, I take Eze, I take Anderson, I take Guahi, and I take Zaha. Five of their players. Like, what, what, the thing that the thing with me is, what is our goal? If our goal is to scrape by and finish in the top four every season, just about, then fine. Sign these sort of players. But Antonio Conte has not come to Tottenham to just finish inside of the top four. Go and give him the tools to do the job. Go and get him a James Madison. Go and get him a Skriniar. Go and get him a Bastoni. All I want to see is this manager back. I don't want to see fans coming out and saying, oh, they want Conte out, they want Conte out. I get it, the football's dross at times. But most of these players, let's be honest, they're just not that, are they? They're just not, they're really not all that. So many of our players, we need to, we need to be looking at a new goalkeeper in the summer as well. We need to be looking at a new goalkeeper. But James, man, I just wanted to make a video. I wanted to talk about Marcus Edwards because Marcus Edwards isn't a bad player. He's a good player. Played for us uh, as, a, as a youth uh, academy youngster. Was released. Went to Holland. Then went to Portugal. Played for Vitoria. Then he moved and played. Now he's at Sporting. They're in the Europa League now. Um, they beat us at their, their place. And we drew and got robbed in the last minute due to a, a VAR decision. But that's, that's a story for another day. But... We should be looking at higher profile, better players than Marcus Edwards. And Marcus Edwards isn't a bad player by any stretch. But if we really, really want to compete and we really want to back Conte, we, we've got to start delivering in the transfer window. Like, I don't want to hear in fact, people come out saying, oh, but Paratici is cooking. Bullshit. Bullshit. Paratici is not cooking. Paratici made a few good things. He brought in Conte, brought in Kulisevsky, he brought in Benzengor, he brought in Romero. But this man also brought in. Um, Jed Spence, who can't even buy a game, can't even get a game at Spurs, might start tomorrow night against Forest. He also brought in Emerson Royale. Sorry, but nah. He also brought in Papa Matasar, who can't get a game. He also brought in um, Lengley, who was a panic option. Okay, it's worked out well, but we really wanted Bastoni. We no one else wanted. No one. You cannot tell me in the summer we went out and wanted Longley in the window because that's just that's just absolute bs it really is um yeah for me um we need we need to just go out and actually deliver in a transfer window um but what will be will be um make sure you are smashing these likes up down below make sure you are subscribing to the channel going to be live at 6 p.m with gooney talking about tottenham and chelsea both teams um in the mud at the moment, I guess you could say. Um, results not going their way. They obviously lost at home to Arsenal, but we're going to be talking about a lot. Um, let me know down below. If you could bring in two players into the transfer window, into Tottenham, who would you bring in? What two players would you bring in? Let me know right now down below. Thank you all for tuning in. As always, smash the like and subscribe. I'm out of here, people. Thank you all for watching. See you all soon. Bring James Madison to Spurs. I'm out of here.